Hey Matthew, this is Keaton Everett with ABC going over your pitching video from the camp. We're going to go through and, and talk a little bit about mechanics and and talk a little bit about what I'm seeing and, and kind of break down uh, your delivery in a couple key spots. You know, We're going to look at how you're starting. We're going to look at what your lower half's doing through your delivery. We're going to look at what you're looking like at foot strike, You know, when that left foot first touches the ground, and then how you're finishing. Um, basically, you know, you're doing a lot of things really well um, once you get to foot strike. It's just a matter of what you're doing from the rubber down the hill. There's a couple key things that, that's going to help you out a lot to generate a lot more power, um, but there's there's things that you're doing really, really good for your age, and, and I'll go through it and talk about it um, each each spot. So first off, the first one we look at is, is setup, all right? So... First off, you're starting from the, you know, you're doing sort of a modified wind-up, so you're moving your foot there, all right, then look at this next spot. You know, you're coming set with your feet together, starting it. So just see how your feet are together there. Your feet are kind of out there, there, at, at that spot. So you just want to make sure that every time you're setting up the same spot. I like this position, you know, your feet are out. We don't want our feet to be together. All right, so you're nice kind of shoulder-width apart. All right, just make sure that you're doing that every time. Every time you're doing, you're setting up and they're at the same spot, okay? That's just kind of a, that's just a, an easy, easy fix right there. Just be aware of your setup, all right? Um, you know, if you're doing wind-up, all right, you're, you're basically starting in the stretch doing a wind-up, all right? Get in the habit of starting, instead of sideways here, start square with the catcher. You know, start square, square with the catcher, both shoulders facing catcher. You know, you take your little step to the right or behind and then start, you know, if you're doing the wind-up. If not, from this position, from this stretch position, you know, don't do not do a wind-up from here, all right? If you're doing a wind-up, start square up to the catcher, all right? Um, so now we're going to look at your balance position, all right? So one thing about mechanics of, of getting consistent is we need to make sure we're breaking our hands at the same point in time. We want to make sure we're breaking our hands at the same spot. One thing that's going to help us out is if we lower our glove down to, towards around our belly button, kind of close to our, our belly button too, and you can watch what your hands are doing as your hands are moving back. All right, we don't want to do a whole lot of movement here. We want to try to keep them a little bit tucked in right around there. And that's going to help us get more consistent. You know, the more movement you're doing with that upper body with your hands, the harder it is to time it. All right. So you're getting good. You're getting a good turn with your 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 leg. All right. I want to try to see these eyes on the catcher. Once once that leg starts up, keep those eyes locked in on the catcher. All right. You kind of turn a little bit. So just make sure that you're not turning too much where you lose sight of the catcher. All right. One thing I kind of want to show you here is this kind of pause and lean you have, all right? So here's here's the highest point your leg gets to, right here. And then I'm going to mark off just kind of this front side here. You just kind of see how you start leaning, 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 and your leg really hasn't started going down, all right? What that's going to cause is is you see this position. This is a very rushed position here. You see how your upper body's kind of at a at an angle right here. Your head's getting way out in front of that back foot, all right. And you're just kind of falling. You're not using your hips. You're getting really far out in front. We, at this position, we want to see your head over that back hip and this leg starting to turn down instead of kind of just rotating out. So there's just this is the one sort of fix here is once you get to this position, all right, limit your movement, your rotation back. So you kind of rotate back and then fall. Once your leg gets to about right here, start your hips forward. All right, so start driving that hip forward. Start driving that, that, that lower half forward instead of just kind of falling. All right, at this position, you know, we want to try to start seeing this back foot almost rotating over a little bit. And you're going to want to see this glove follow this front foot a little bit more. So you're just kind of late with everything on that upper body. So you're you're leaning, you're dropping, you're just leaning right off the bat. Your arms are late, and that just 
just loses a lot of that lower body power. All right, we want to try to drive with our hips. We want to stay back over that back, that right leg. We want to drive through those legs and just use our lower half. All right, so right here, I mean, you're just out in front. Okay, so but at foot strike, so everything from from balance to foot to foot strike can be improved. But once you're getting to foot strike, it's looking really well. Okay, it's, it's doing a lot of good things here. All right, so we're going to look at right when this foot hits, which is looks like about right here. All right. And the thing you're doing really well is you're you get pretty good separation between your hips and your upper body. You know, you're you're, you're rotating that lower body first, and then your your that shoulder's coming through. You're staying through that back leg all the way through release. That back foot's not coming off the ground. All right. So you're using a lot of those legs once once you're landed. But we just got to make sure we're generating more power into that foot strike. All right. So right at foot strike, we'll go back here and look. All right. Generally, we don't ever want to see this glove above our elbow until we've started rotating forward. So you're just starting to rotate that, that front glove a little bit more. And the reason that it is still high is because you're late with that glove and you can see it lagging right here. You know, your glove's here, your foot's here, is that it just is just going to stay above it and not really kind of rotate down. You know, we want to try to get to a point where at foot strike, you know, we're seeing this sort of angle with your glove and then that elbow rotates down once that right shoulder starts coming forward. All right. Uh, another thing too with, with what your hand's doing is we want to try to get our fingers behind the ball, meaning on top of the ball, meaning right here. We want to try to get those fingers between your your head and the ball and not on the side. See how see you, if you if you just kind of watch your fingers are just staying on that first base side of the ball. You can kind of see first base side of the ball and then you're coming through and pushing. All right. So you just want to try to make sure that you're generating that torque on the inside part of that ball so that you can get on top and really drive it forward, all right? Other than that, arm arm angle wise, it, this looks pretty good. All right, it, it's nothing that's red flagging that there's injuries. You know, sometimes if you get the elbow above or really far below or you get a really extreme angles here or, you know, you're, you're straight, that'll be a cause for concern, but uh, it looks pretty, pretty good there. And then through your release, you do, you're doing it really well. All right, here's your release. Because you're, you're kind of dropping and you're early with that front side, if we're looking from, from the batter's view, you're going to see an angle in your, you know, you kind of lose your posture off to the first base side a little bit, which isn't too bad, but just something that needs to be addressed. And you're, you know, you're getting close to that foot. We're going to want to try to see to, you to get that head, that chest out over that front foot a little more, try to pick up a little bit more space. And that's going to come with driving your hips farther down the mound, keeping them closed longer, and driving them farther down. All right. So that's just uh, something to, to kind of pay attention to and work with. So it's just a matter of just using those legs, driving those, keeping those, that leg closed, driving those hips down the mound, uh, and you're going to be doing a lot better, generating a lot more power. But, I mean, other than that, it's, it's, it looks pretty solid. And so it's just a matter of just getting that lower half involved a little bit more. All right. So anyways, I hope you had a great time at camp. We look forward to seeing you again with ABC, and I hope you're having a great season.